Mad Dolls, and I was able to get the new Core Refresh Claudine Wolf doll. Now, I already unboxed Dracula, so you could go check out that video here. This is what G3 should have been from the very beginning. This is what it should have been from the start. I am in love with both of these dolls and we better get more. I want a Laguna one and a Gulia one really, really bad because I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. So before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe, follow me on all my other social medias and check out my whatnot link for $15 off your first purchase. So here is the front of the box. We've got like a normal Monster High G3 box. We've got gorgeous artwork by Darko down here. It says a Claudine Wolf. And I mean, she is looking so fierce. So, oh, I'm uh, eating up these dolls. Okay, so on the back it says, a monster Claudine Wolf monster type, iconic werewolf human, monster must-haves, howlin' agenda, and a lunar sandwich, monster pet, crescent. And that artwork, I love it so much. And we finally get good, good, wonderful, extraordinary artwork. I love you, Dargo, you're amazing. So now let's get off this plastic. They're also so easy to open. I love it so much. We we are in the biggest step in the right direction ever. If they keep this up, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I think they might finally be on par with G1. Finally, in my opinion. Let's recycle that. Here she is without that plastic. Oh my gosh. She's gorgeous, uh, oh, but I got her on Amazon, so I will link her down below for you. It will be an affiliate link. They helped me out so, so much. I ordered her a long, 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 long time ago, and she finally came in the Amazon locker the other night, <laughs> and I was so excited. Or no, I couldn't get her in the Amazon locker. I got Draculaura there, but my college, like, mailroom had Claudine, so it took, like, a hot minute, they were holding her hostage. That's right, I got them confused. Uh, let's see, did I get all the plastic out of her head? I did. Oh my gosh. She has saran and it's like soft, soft. Oh my gosh. Delish, delish. Oh man, is she, uh, she is gorgeous. She is everything. Oh no, I don't have a doll stand. <laughs> I will go get one and I will be right back. So of course we will start with my biggest G3 complaint. They don't come with doll stands. I think that's a ridiculous in this day and age where so many adult collectors are buying dolls. So freaking many. Um, it's just stupid. <laughs> so this doll stand is from Amazon. I will link it down below. That will also be an affiliate link. These are life savers. They fit Monster High, they fit Barbie, they fit like every doll and I love them. Oh, she is just, oh, oh, I love her so much. Okay, so let's get out the rest of her stuff that she comes with. I really, really hope that they make all of the dolls a little G3 refresh for real. Because <laughs> now that they know what we actually like want, <laughs> uh, I think it'll only just help them. So here is Crescent. Crescent is a, like a dog now, which is really stupid, but whatever. Uh, we've got like a new mold. Crescent looks adorable. We've got this awesome translucent uh, purple a backpack with some moon phases on it and like a little teal a moon charm. Wish there were more painted details on that. Will not lie. We've got this translucent water bottle and I'm sure the lid, yeah, comes on and off. Very cool. This is cute. We've got her little sandwich and it's like in a Ziploc. That is so, so cute. I like that a lot. We've got a Howl Energy Bar that is also very, very cute. I like that. Uh, oh, the pet brush. The pet brush is adorable. That is so funny. I'm excited to put all this stuff in her bedroom. And now, you know, there's another bedroom Claudine set. Oh, here is like her little planner and it actually like opens. That is a very nice. And her ugly glasses that no one likes. That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful. Still, she's, she's still got them, okay. All right. 
that's a decision. I'm not putting them on her. <laughs> so and now let's take a look at our ghoul. I put her on the doll stand just to take her off. Yeah. Now mine has some white paint like chipped on her chin, but I, I scratched it and came off. So Claudine has got very gorgeous, soft, soft, brown, gorgeous, amazing, extraordinary, soft, wonderful, eleganza, saran, brown hair. <laughs> uh, we've got streaks of lavender and a lighter pink. It's very pretty. Uh, her two front bang pieces are pulled back into like a little braid uh, for a little half up, half down moment. It's gorgeous. We've got uh, painted on edges. I think they're the same as always. I'm not sure. They seem a little darker. They look really pretty. She looks really pretty. We've got her gorgeous gold earrings. This one is just like a hoop. And then this one is like a wolf howling at the moon. And her face is perfect. This is what we want. We've got dark purple lipstick. We've got dark eyeshadow. She looks so wonderful. She's got her freckles. She's adorable. So she's got a matching gold necklace with all the faces of the moon, a little tank top that is black with some purple claw marks on it. And finally, some freaking pants for our freaking ghouls. They kept not giving them pants, so finally, thank you, thank you for listening. We've got these light, light purple cheetah print, print pants. They, I mean, they're not all the way down, but I mean, still, I will take it. Uh, and it's a very nice fabric, and it feels like there might be a little plastic under it. I can't tell, maybe not. Uh, we've also got this gold belt that has a moon on it. It's very pretty, and now the best part. The best part is this Leatherman jacket. It is a dark purple with some white details. For the collar, for this waist part, uh, it's also under these amazing, extraordinary, fluffy, soft purple sleeves. I love it, it's so cool. And of course she's got like some patches on the jacket as well. We've got a moon, we've got her little paw print, we've got a heart, and of course, monster height and teal. I like that they're giving Claudine teal now. I, I don't know why they're doing that, but I kind of like it, I'm kind of living for it. Oh my gosh, yeah, she is amazing. I don't think I like her as much as the Draculaura, but this is easily the best G3 Claudine doll that we have got yet so far. She's incredible. I love her. So now here are her shoes. A uh, little painted details. I wish there were more. We've got some dark purple boots with some studs and some moons and straps all over them. And then the heel is this bright teal with some studs on the back of them, some claw marks. Let's see what's on the bottom. Uh, just some more claw marks. I love, love, love this Edzul. I'm, oh, uh, oh. Uh. She's incredible. Now I'll put her glasses on, but I won't be happy about it. Um, she still has that like silly, like molded on fluff at her ears. I mean, she looks cute. I, they're just so not, not my Claudine. <laughs> not the one that I want. <laughs> so she's never gonna wear those, ever. <laughs> she is just a uh, gorge. And they could have made them like, they could have. But they chose not to. They chose to make like these ugly, mm -mm. She would have much cooler frames than that. Just saying, just saying. So make sure you subscribe, follow me on all my other social medias, check out my whatnot link for $15 off your first purchase. And of course, at the end of my videos, you guys know I like to rank the doll on a scale of one to 10. Well, let me tell you this right now. I think I have to say it and I'm surprised. I am gonna forgive them for not including doll stand. I, I'm gonna forgive them because this is everything I want from a Monster High doll. This is Monster High. Whoever designed this needs to design every other single freaking doll. 
this is what we want. This is perfect. I don't have anything negative really to say, like some painted details, whatever. Doll stand, yeah, we all want that. But, uh, oh, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful and I can't wait to put her on my shelf and I am gonna erase the first original G3 dolls from my mind and from existence. And I'm gonna pretend that these are the core dolls um, because they are just phenomenal. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.